All right. Uh, first cat is a very light one with a French whip handle. Uh, and very light just for starters and uh, feels really, really nice. Made by Joe Wheeler. Uh, it's uh, suede leather. Uh, about 26 inches in length. Uh, beautiful French whip handle. And even people who uh, want to be lightly played with and lightly uh, beaten uh, enjoy it. Today we're talking about Cat and Nine Tails, and I'm going to give a little history of Cat and Nine Tails. Uh, there's a history of, of cat style whips go back certainly to ancient Rome where they were called a flogrum where the word flogging comes from. Uh, they even go back to uh, Egypt to the flail uh, which usually had three uh, uh, tails. Uh, so as long as there have been people making whips there have been cat style whips. The English cat of nine tails started with King William the third uh, in 1689 and was used in the Navy and the Army uh, for whippings and uh, so there's an illustrious history of the uh, British cat of nine tails. It's also used in America in, in uh, colonial days and uh, in Delaware until 1960 and in Australia until the 1950s and in English prisons until uh, the late 60s. So the first uh, whip was a very light one by Joe Wheeler. Uh, the second one, the middle one, uh, was a very fine uh, handmade uh, spread out cat, which we're looking at right now. Uh, spread out cat made by John Norton. Uh, out of belting leather. It's the kind of thing you can make for yourself. Multiple strands. It's got quite a bite to it and of course you can stick it in a pocket or uh, put it in your boot and have it instantly available which is really very nice. And as I say it's got quite a bite. It's one of my favorite little whips. Uh, and then the uh, third one in this group is a uh, fairly close to uh, uh, fairly close to historically uh, accurate uh, British handmade uh, cat of nine tails for sailors. The sailor was expected to make uh, uh, his own whip uh, on some ships, in merchant ships particularly, uh, but in British, uh, uh, in the British Navy uh, they were cats and they were kept in, in a bag in a cloth bag. So the expression cat, uh, uh, let the cat out of the bag uh, meant somebody was going to be punished. And it's a very interesting expression. So the tails are knotted. Uh, this one has eight tails. Uh, and it's, it's not as intense as it looks. Uh, it's a nice example of macrame style uh, uh, cat and nine tail whipping. Here we have three more cats. This first one that we are looking at has a uh, wooden handle and then it's nylon. It's made by my friend Paul Carpenter in uh, Scotland. And uh, it's very nice for a starter cat of nine tails. So this is a modern version in nylon. I'd like to see more of these uh, because nylon is easy to clean and uh, it's not too intense. It's a really good starter whip. I have a pair of them, but I'm only showing this first one. Uh, it's approximately uh, 24 inches uh, long. It's good in co close quarters, and it's a wonderful whip that everybody seems to enjoy. The uh, next whip here is by Mad Dog, Robert Roberts. And of course it's got a it's got a dick handle uh, with a piercing. Uh, and uh, Robert made these when Mad Dog was uh, making whips. And it's a wonderful whip. Everybody just loves it very much. And I've used it for over 20 years now. 
It's too bad that Robert had to give up whip making because like most whip makers, his hands went. Uh, the last whip in this uh, section of three is a very good copy of a uh, punishment whip from the uh, British Army. Uh, it's not quite long enough. It's about, uh, it's, it's maybe a three-quarter scale. But otherwise, it's fairly accurate, and it's got more than nine tails, which it shouldn't to be, to be fully accurate. Uh, it's, it's a wonderful and intense, uh, sharp, uh, dense leather strands, and a leather-covered handle, and uh, it really delivers quite a wonderful blow whether on the back or the, uh, or the butt, uh, or even the back of the legs if you're being particularly nasty. And all my subs really, uh, really like cat and nine tails. The first whip in this group is uh, a cat of nine made by Anonymous John from San Francisco. Uh, and it's very nice uh, craft style uh, uh, calfskin, uh, or otherwise known as kip leather. And it's uh, a real stinger. Uh, it's very finely braided. Uh, it's one of my favorite little cats. So we're doing little cats uh, first. Uh, and, and there are nine, and this is the last three in the group of uh, nine little cats. Short cats. Uh, uh, so this whip is really wonderful. Uh, John made it over 20 years ago, and it still gets a lot of use in my collection. And then the second whip is a rubber cat uh, made by Mad Dog, made by Robert Roberts. Uh, and I love the way he's braided the uh, the rubber in the handle. And I haven't seen anyone else able to do as well as he did. We've now got three more of my very favorite uh, Cat of Nine whips. The one you're looking at right now is a Jim Parent flexible uh, Cat of Nine tails. And the handle flexes and it throws almost like a bullwhip. This is the shorter version. Uh, Jim made this after his original one in 1980. <clears throat> this one was made in 1983. Uh, it's about uh, 32 inches long. Uh, knots on the end, very traditional. Uh, Jim based the design on uh, Royal Navy ships, but he made it in kangaroo leather. So combining some Australian uh, uh, design features, the use of kangaroo leather, and making it a, uh, a flexible cat whip, it's a little bit like a bull whip, and it's a little bit like a cat of nine tails. It's uh, a wonderful item and one of my very favorite whips. Uh, again, Jim Farron's hands uh, went out. Uh, his wrists went out from braiding, and he hasn't been able to braid for since about 1985. Uh, this uh, second whip now uh, is in uh, doe skin. Uh, it's kangaroo hide handle and doe skin, uh, very dense, wide uh, strands, and there are six of them, and it's by Joe Wheeler, and it's a flexi cat, but it's Joe Wheeler's version of a flexi cat, and it's a thudder. It's a wonderful thudder uh, that is really, really very nice. Uh, it's about 32 inches long. The uh, tips of each of the six uh, strands uh, have a heavy cowhide uh, lash to give it a little extra pep and thud, and it's quite wonderful. Uh, use this one a lot. These, these are three of my very favorite cats, and you can see why. They're really spectacular designs that work well. And the last one here is uh, 38 inches long. It's rather long. It's a spread out cat, meaning the lashes are attached to a, to a spreader so that you, they get a massive impact, and it, which spreads out. Uh, that design was uh, uh, originated by John Norton, uh, and I'll show you one of his spread out cats, the original, from about 1979 in the next lot. 
this is again by Joe Wheeler and it's flexible handle. It's a flexi cat. Uh, it's in kangaroo hide and uh, cow hide for the uh, nine uh, strands. Uh, it's very severe and leaves wonderful bruises uh, and is an extremely uh, wonderful whips, whip. So uh, these cat of nine tails uh, uh, are based on traditional designs uh, from the 19th century. I recently uh, appeared on a program called Deals from the Dark Side where I actually uh, gave provenance and value for an original 19th century punishment whip. And you can find that on YouTube. Just look for Deals from the Dark Side. Cat of Nine Tails is the name of the episode. Cat of Nine Tails, Deals from the Dark Side. <clears throat> it was a wonderful program and uh, I was able to help them out and identify and uh, value uh, this wonderful uh, antique whip that they had. Wish I had that in my collection, but I do not. Now we have my three favorite uh, cat of nines in the whole world, and I have about 30 of them. Uh, this first one is the uh, John Norton uh, design I mentioned, the original spread out cat with a semi-flexible handle. And John made this right after Jim Ferrant made the first Flexi Cat. And uh, it's kangaroo handle, and it's cut up Marine Corps World War II garrison belts are the, are the leather thongs. And it's a very uh, wonderful and severe item uh, that I've used and had used on me. Uh, so many times since it was created in, in I believe, 1980 or 81. Uh, and uh, John Norton spent almost 30 hours creating this whip in a, in a full uh, wood and uh, machine shop and uh, cut up several old World War II garrison belts for the, uh, the whip strands and used a lot of kangaroo uh, leather for the handle. Uh, it's really a rare and quite unique item. Uh, and John was never a whip maker, but he made some of the best whips I've ever seen or used. Uh, the second one is also by John Norton. And it is uh, made out of uh, kangaroo for the handle. Uh, and it's slightly heavier. Uh, it's also semi-flex handle. And the uh, strands are made out of cut-up old razor straps. Uh, Russian uh, horsehide razor straps from the 19th century. Uh, he cut up several of them to make the uh, leather strands. And again, it's a very severe, very thuddy, uh, lots of impact, deep bruising, uh, but uh, it doesn't create a lot of blood. Uh, and it's a wonderful, wonderful item uh, and, and very uh, hard work and a lot of time went into it. It took him, uh, I believe, somewhere on the range of 25 or 30 hours to create it. <clears throat> then the last in, the, in this series is my very favorite cat of all. And it may look unpretentious, uh, but this uh, cat came into my life uh, in 1983 uh, when it was used on stage uh, during his uh, appearance in uh, Leatherwear uh, by Coulter Thomas. And so this helped him win IML 1983. And he came jauntily on stage swinging this cat uh, which he had borrowed from a friend of mine and he kind of got attached to it and the friend gave it to him and then he gave it to me and uh, it's been a wonderful part of my collection it, it's a stinger not a thudder uh, and it doesn't really leave marks which is kind of why Coulter liked it because he was light S&M when he played uh, you know he, he uh, uh, was not a heavy player, but he certainly was a player, and uh, so it's been in his hand on my back 
uh, and Bud, and therefore has wonderful history for me. And in the video at IML 83, 1983, you can see that he's holding this whip uh, on stage. So it's a one of a kind. Uh, uh, and I'm thrilled to still have it uh, now 30 years later. These are two movie prop Cat of Nine whips uh, based on uh, British naval flogging cat of nine tails. They're made out of uh, rope uh, with uh, uh, that's been uh, strengthened and uh, tied at the bottom and knotted. And uh, this first one with a very decorative handle is very uh, historically correct. And I'm not even sure that it isn't a 19th century uh, British naval cat of nine tails. It may very well be. Uh, it certainly uh, uh, fits uh, the historical descriptions. So the braiding is very beautiful. It's over three feet long. Uh, it has uh, triple knots on each uh, of the nine tails. And it's, uh, it, it looks worse than it is. So it, made, it would make a great movie prop, uh, but it's got some thud to it, and uh, for historical accuracy, it's great fun. Somebody who really wants to know what it feels like to, uh, uh, what, what it was like for the British sailors in the Royal Navy in the 19th century, or even American sailors who were whipped with cat of nine whips too. And the smaller one uh, is, uh, is a movie prop as well. And, you know, from a pri I, I don't know which movie, but I was uh, reliably informed it's a movie prop. Uh, it could be a pirate movie. It could be a, uh, a British movie. Uh, it could even be a convict mo movie. Uh, and I remember these movies from the 1950s that always had a whipping in them. And they're still doing it today. Uh, it, was, it was so exciting to me as a young child to see a very hunky uh, man uh, tied up or, uh, or shackled down and, and then whipped. Uh, it was very exciting and, and it still is. And of course they're still using them in movies today. So these whips are three feet long and uh, like I say they look more intense than they are. Uh, but they're historically accurate and they're fun to use. And I've had a great deal of enjoyment out of them. This is the last of the cat of nines we'll be showing today. And this one is by Joe Wheeler, and it has a name. It's called Maximus Thud. It's over three feet long. It's made out of leather jump rope cut up. And it's extremely thuddy and extremely hard. And I've been known to swing it two-handed like a baseball bat. Uh, the thongs are very dense and very hard. And it really does give a very strong thud. Uh, unless you're on a cross or, uh, or leaning against something, it'll knock you down if you're hit hard enough with it. And it's really beautiful, uh, uh, shiny black leather and a stiff handle, not a flexible one. And so it's kind of like a nine-tail flogger, but a very thuddy, uh, and dense one and uh, beautiful work and for those I play with who like thud uh, and have high tolerances this is something they just scream for so it's gotten a lot of use over the years and I want to thank Joe Wheeler who's made me many many whips uh, I wish his hands were good enough to produce more but he's still producing and he's worth the wait